Hello Zebraherd! Today we are becoming the Avatar in the Minecraft Avatar Legends DLC. Joined by our trusty Sky Bison, we travel across the world in search of powerful opponents. Can we become the strongest Avatar ever and perfect our bending skills in air, water, earth, and fire? Let's find out together! So we've made our way into the world of Avatar, the last airbender, where we have four different kinds of elements to choose from. Welcome, new Avatar. Interact with your former lives to learn more about the four elements. And begin your journey. All right, that's so cool. So as you can see, we have air, water, earth, and fire. And I guess with each one, we might just be able to walk up and interact with it. Here's Aang, the airbender. Air, manipulate the flow of air and embody freedom can start life as an airbender. Why not? That's one of my favorites for sure. Here we are. Look at us. We're just out here. This is so cool. Hello. White Lotus Sentry. Welcome to Air Temple Island. You must be the Avatar. It's an honor to meet you. We're the Order of the White Lotus, your sworn allies, here to assist you on your journey. View Air Temple Island. Whoa, that is a tall tower. This is so neat. On oh, the bamboo forest. This is really, really cool. Lots of people to talk to, too. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun exploring this one. So is there a different island for each type then? I guess so. Okay, that's what we just did. Okay, I didn't know they were gonna say anything more. I guess not. So, yeah, nice to meet you. We'll look around the island a little bit and see what we can find. We can run super quick right now. This is so cool. And there's somebody to talk to right over here. White Lotus Sentry, it's an honor to speak with you, Avatar. Thank you for interacting with me. This is the best day of my life. Well, thanks, I guess. Uh, that's very flattering. Let's head out of here, though. And we could, like, get cool punches thrown out, too. <laughs> we're quite the, the battler, it seems. I just love moving around real fast. And what is our item here? Air blades. Huh, I don't know what those do just yet, but we'll figure it out as we go along. I'm sure there might be people here willing to teach us. Look at this, this is so cool. And who is this? White Lotus Sentry again. Apologies, Avatar. The staircase is currently in need of repair. It shouldn't be a problem though. You can jump and then jump again to double jump. Ooh, okay, so I guess we have double jumping. Whoa, that's great! So we just jump and then jump again. Oh, we'll get up there, no problem. That's cool. See, adventuring around is no problem for us. Oh, and here's someone else. Plenty more sentries around. This looks like an ideal spot to meditate and set your spawn point. Once you've gained the mastery point, you can meditate to unlock more bending techniques. Mastery points are gained by defeating enemies. Ooh, so I guess we go over here. This is a meditation site. While meditating, you can use mastery points to earn new bending techniques. That's so cool. So do we get to choose any of these? I guess not quite yet because we don't have any, uh, oh wow, and there's of course with the different elements. We don't have any points right now, we just hit the air blades, but there are different things we can get throughout our adventure. So we'll definitely have to earn those up. Do you have anything else to say? Not really. But I'm sure there's other people around, right? Oh yeah, there's another sentry over here. Oh, they want a battle? I think so. Avatar, would you like to practice bending? I can tell you more about how to bend the elements and then you can test your might against me. How do I bend? Bending takes a lot of practice to master, but the fundamentals are rather straightforward. What are your controls? I'm using keyboard and mouse. <laughs> First, hold the item that represents the technique you would like to use. Then, hold down the right mouse button to use it. You were born as an airbender, and as such, you have already learned the airblades technique. Face your enemy and hold down the right mouse button to send forth a swift flurry of airblades. Let's duel, and you can try it out. Let's duel. Excellent, I wish you luck, Avatar. Begin duel. All right, let's go for it. The tutorial duel against the White Lotus Sentry. So if we right click, we can throw out our airblades, apparently? Oh man. Whoa, that's so cool. Oh, and they're spinning around the throne, a tornado at us. Oh my gosh. And I can get a couple of punches in too. Ouch. Okay, that hurt a little bit. No, I'm falling off. Hold on, let me get back up there. 
wait, does that mean I get knocked out for good? Uh, where did they go? They're back down, I think they won. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, let's try again. I, I didn't do a very good job. It was my first time, it was my first time. Can't win everything, right? Okay, we gotta win it this time though, so don't get pushed off the end by the tornado. That'd be bad. But yeah, if I right click like that, I can damage him down a little bit. That's cool. Just gotta be careful of the tornado. But I might be able to just walk up and punch you too. I think for now we'll just do this, because that seems to be working pretty well now. We got a good flow with it. They're trying to throw some at me too, but just gotta keep at it, keep at it, come on. Almost there. There's some water on the floor over there too, I guess for water benders. Gotcha, not too bad. Excellent performance, Avatar. With each duel, you will gain mastery points. Mastery points can be used to er learn new bending techniques when you meditate. So let's get a reward for defeating that tutorial. Very nice. Now, I guess because we did that, they're sort of translucent, so we don't really get to do any anything more there. Can I go up here? I wonder. So far, it doesn't really look like there's too much to do up here. Okay, yeah, so we'll go back down and get a mastery point. So what's cool about this is we don't just have to choose one of these, right? Could we choose one of these? Oh yeah, so we could just become also an earthbender, firebender, all that kind of stuff, or we could keep saving up our points to improve some of our airbending. Hard to decide for right now, but I think air and water would be a cool combo. So maybe we'll also get water whip, create a lashing tendril of water that swipes up, or swipes and soaks opponents. Wet opponents drop puddles, which serve as water bending sources. That is so cool. So if we do this, oh, it requires water source. That's why there's the buckets around. So if we run all the way back over there near the bucket, oh man, that is so cool. And when we do that, as you can see, it makes more little water spots where we can go around. And I don't have to be directly on the bucket for it to you know, create water. So very cool stuff like that, gotta keep that in mind. But what about you over here? Maybe somebody else to battle or just to talk to? These are shrines to some of your former lives. It is said that Avatar can seek guidance from these statues. Huh. So we'll have to talk to our previous lives, but this is, whoa, it's Appa. Hi there, you're so cute. Oh yeah, before you head out on your adventure, you should take this. This special bison whistle will return you to your bison. Oh, I would love that. So we have a bison whistle. So I guess if we ever go too far out, we can use it, confirm. There we go, and we're brought all the way back here. That is so cool. So let's talk to some people now, like we have you. This is your flying bison. They will be your loyal companion as you travel the world. Avatar, are you ready to depart? Interact with your bison and head out on your adventure. If you ever need your our support, you can visit us here on Air Temple Island. So I don't want to do that just yet, but that's very cool. I am here to help. This is the performance guide. Huh. So I, I don't think we need, that's more so about the game itself, like an options menu. So I, I'm fine with that. But there is a building to go into here. Hey Avatar, we have prepared these quarters for you. Should you wish to relax here. The room is a little bare at the moment. Perhaps you can decorate it with trinkets you gather on your journey. That'd be cool. Whoa, so look at this. This is where we can probably find some collectibles. We got this nice little film camera and everything. So we'll definitely have to look around for whatever little things we can find. Is there anything else around here? I guess not. So I wanna go to the bamboo forest before we head out with our, our sky bison. And yeah, what can we do with these? Whoa, hey, here we go. This is Kiyoshi. Well, hello, you're the latest version of us, I see. It's nice to meet you. I am Avatar Kiyoshi. I lived a long time ago. During my time, I restored peace to the world. Remember that sometimes the Avatar must be swift and decisive. And I can challenge them? You're a brave one. It seems unwise to challenge me until you have at least mastered all of the earthbending techniques. Interesting, so I'll have to challenge them at some point, and I'm guessing we can do that for the rest of them too. Like we have Roku. All of the past avatars, all of their experience and wisdom is available to you. I am Avatar Roku, one of your many lives. I was a powerful firebender, yet when the Fire Nation started a war, I was unable to prevent it. Remember, the avatar must consider all possible consequences to their actions. So I guess we can talk to these avatars and challenge them once we're more powerful. So I'll do that at some point. We got Guru Pathic. Greetings, Avatar. I'm Guru Pathic. I once taught Avatar Aang how to master the Avatar state. The Avatar state? 
Once circumstances become dire, you may find yourself slipping into the Avatar state. During this time, you'll be able to bend with greater ferocity. It's very difficult to control the Avatar state. You'll be able to learn a great deal by defeating your past lives in a duel. Cool. So we'll definitely be working on that once we get more abilities, but we also got a Rava statue. This is the Air Temple Island to view the collection. That's nice. What about you? This is Asami. Hello, Avatar. Many people owe a great deal to avatars of the past. I know I do. For that reason, many are going to want a chance to duel against you or give you a gift. So take this from me. What is that? Uh, it'll tell us eventually. Here we go. Asami's Gauntlet. That's so cool. So we just go little collectibles like that. Do I get another gift? Or is it just, I think, the same one? And then this is uh, Korra. The world will try to knock you down, Avatar. You will face challenge after challenge, and there are times where you will feel helpless, or hopeless. When I started my journey, I had a lot to learn, but I stayed determined. Never give up. People still need you. So can I challenge you? I was like you once, always rushing ahead of myself. I'll be avail or I'll be happy to accept the challenge once you've mastered all the water bending techniques. Okay, so we'll do all that soon. What does this up here? Is this another collectible? I think it is. Whoa, that was something. What's down this way then? This looks like another airbending kind of deal. Yeah, there are more people out here. So there's still more people to talk to and experience in this island before we move. I was really looking forward to playing a classic game of Pi Show, but we've lost all the tiles. Oh, you've already have one of our tiles? Please go ahead and place it onto the board. Okay, sure. Uh, Pi Show tile, get it right there. So I guess I have to find some more of those, but that's so cool. So I have to look all over for them and make sure we find them so that they can actually play Pi Show. I don't think there's too much more to do around here though, so I guess we're all finished up with this island. Let's go back to our flying bison and head out of here. So we've made it back to the flying bison. And where can we take you? So a whole bunch of places. Most of them are locked. The only place we can go to right now is Bossing Sai. All right, well, off we go. Do we just hop onto your back? <laughs> I guess so. Oh man, this is so cool. So we've made it to Bossing Sai, which I'm pretty sure is like a big city. Yeah, you can see some of the walls. They are huge in the distance. Whoa. Okay, so let's talk to you maybe. Are you the my cabbages guy? I think you are. Maybe not. We'll, we'll see. Judy, welcome traveler to Ba Sing Sai, the greatest city in the world. Welcome to the lower ring where it's so quaint and lively. Let me know if you have any further questions. Oh, so we can look at a little overview of it just like we did with the first island. I love these so much because we sort of get a lay of the land. We can see what's going on around everything. And we can see all the different characters we can meet up with. I think now's a good time to mention that I've watched the original Avatar The Last Airbender, but it was a long time ago. So I'm a little fuzzy on some of the details and I have not seen the newer one with Korra in it, I think it is. Um, so maybe at some point I could watch that one, but I might be missing some of the details of the story for this, but it still seems really cool. I'm super happy to play it, so yeah. I do definitely remember bossing Say a bit. Oh, that was, I saw him for a moment. That was the cabbages guy. <laughs> I saw him with this, with this little cart. There are so many people here though. It's gonna be a pleasure to sort of explore around and talk to everybody. And I think that's about it. Maybe there's more, it just keeps going. Really gives us a good look around. Okay, here we are. So now that we've seen that, can we talk to them a little bit more? Ask about the Fire Nation. This is Ba Sing Se, silly. We're in the Earth Kingdom, not the Fire Nation. There's no war in Ba Sing Se. Dao Fei. The Dao Fei are a band of rebels and outlaws that, that operate within the city. They're nothing to worry about. The city guards and Dai Li have everything under control. The Dai Li are highly skilled earthbenders that make up the city police. They're here to keep Ba Sing Se safe. The Dai Li are, t are furiously led by the Grand Secretus, Long Feng. Long Feng is our most honorable Grand Secretus, or Secretariat. Okay, <laughs> the head of the government. He has committed his life to keeping the city safe. Good to know. And not everybody we can talk to, but the ones we can. Oh no, what's wrong with you? Hey, my friend tried to make, to take on the Dao Fei, but it didn't go very well. Life is tough when you can't use bending. The Dao Fei use their earth bending to block the alley so that they can continue their misdeeds in private. Oh no. So we can't really bust through that normally, right? Like what if I were to, whoa, that does bust through it. Are you okay? Can I splash you awake a little bit? That is so cool. See, we can break through this no problem. Can I also use air blades? I can. 
That's great. So we'll bust through that a little bit, but before we do too much more, I should probably go over to our meditation thing. We don't have any extra points, but at the least I can set my spawn here. The Suzuki. Oh, hi. Are you here to meditate at the statue of Avatar Kyoshi 2? Kyoshi is the greatest warrior of all time. She did everything she could to embody peace and justice. Kyoshi's earthbending skills were unparalleled. She once rip ripped a peninsula from the mainland and pushed it out into the ocean. That's where I grew up. I joined the Kyoshi Warriors so that, despite not being an earthbender, I could help protect the island from anyone who would do it harm. Kyoshi Warriors fight with fans. Here, I have a spare one. Oh cool, so we get a little fan. Suki's fan. What about you? Some time ago, the Fire Nation attacked ba, ba Sing Sai, and we were under siege for 600 days. It was hard for us all, but the king and the walls kept us safe, and I will always be grateful. I'm glad. So let's go back this way. I'm really curious to see what we can find in this little spot now that we've opened up this room. Are people gonna fight us? Oh, they are. Uh-oh. So the Dao Fei are coming in to attack me. I don't know if I'm ready for this, but I'm gonna try it. Run out as much as I can to you. Oh no, their friends are coming over. It's not doing any damage to their health bar just yet. Uh, oh no. Maybe I should, because they, they made some water, so I can throw that at them. I don't know if they're maybe extra defensive to water moves because they're also water benders. Whoa, that was cool. But I think we'll keep with our air blades because that one's pretty easy to land. They still have so much more of their health though. Oh, that hurt. Gotta be careful. I'm still getting used to the controls and stuff, and as you can see with some things, whoa. I might just be able to go up and punch you a little bit. That sort of helps. Whoa. Backing it up a little. We're about halfway through, and we, we still have a good chunk of health left. Oh my. Uh, just try to keep it that way. And punching seems to help a lot with getting some of my energy back, so that's good. Oh gosh, they're getting really close now. I like this giant, like, tentacle slam it basically is. Okay, we're doing a little bit better. I might want to run up on you. Just start punching. That's not doing anything for you. But it is for you. So there we go, I think because we defeated them. Now this one might be a firebender? Looks like it, right? Oh no. Oh, I think they hit their friend. Wait, you're behind me. Oh no, now I'm really starting to take some damage. I'm getting a little concerned. Trying to punch my way through. Sometimes that works out a little bit better. Jeez, it's hard to dodge stuff. Because like when you throw out a move, Okay, did we do it? I think we did it. That's awesome. So it looks like people are coming back into here now that we've we've put up the Dao Fei. Very nice. And we get a little extra point there. The boulder, huh? The boulder's practicing for his next match down at the Rumble Arena. What's a little thing like you doing getting in the way? We can challenge the boulder to a duel. You're challenging me? Ha ha ha, you're making the boulder laugh. The boulder doesn't fight for free, little thing. You really wanna take on the boulder, you should come down to the Rumble Arena. You'll fit right in with the other pipsqueak who competes there. Unlock the Rumble Arena, don't mind if I do. So a whole new area to get to later on, that'll be cool. But I guess we could maybe talk to some other people that might be around here. Not really seeing too much. So what happens if I try to double jump over here? Well, I can do that, no problem. Not everybody has something to say though. So this city is very vast. There's gonna be a lot to explore here. I'll do my best to get to everything. But I don't wanna miss too much, so. Can I double jump up those walls? I guess not. There's somebody at the well here? Hello, I'm the world's foremost avatar expert. I hope to meet the avatar one day. Well, actually, I'm the avatar. But I guess some dreams have to wait. I'm sure the avatar has more important things than hanging out with me. So anyway, while you're here, how about some trivia about one of my favorite avatars, Kyoshi? Sure. Great, how many years did Avatar Kyoshi live for? Uh, I have no clue, I'm gonna say more than 100. Yep, that's right, Avatar Kyoshi lived until she was an incredible 230 years old. To Tiaguai, the immortal taught her how to become immortal through sheer willpower. That's so cool, so I guess we Earned a little bit of a trivia points here, in a way. Uh, we can go into this building too. Can I open these doors? I can. Not too much in this one. But there might be somebody to talk to around here. Either way, it's just fun to explore and see the sort of the different ways of life here in Ba Sing Sai. But I think we're good enough to head back to where we were, which was right around this corner and then up here. Got it. I don't see anybody else to really talk to. We can talk to you again. Hi. 
They don't have anything new to say though. See what happens if I try to, I could, and look at this for exploring, we get another one of these uh, pie show tiles. Very cool. It's definitely worth exploring around as much as I can to find extra little collectible goodies. Okay, well in the meantime, it looks like the town center area here might have some more stuff for us. We could spend another point. I think we should get one on each typing of uh, element here. So we'll get a fire bending one this time. Fire stream. Shoot a stream of fire from your fingertips that engulfs opponents in a blazing inferno. This ability can be held to shoot a continuous blast. That's cool. So we can switch to that one. I might want to, if it lets me, maybe reorganize some things. There you go. Whoa. Oh, I damaged cabbages. Cabbage merchant. Hey you, you look like a wise and worldly individual. Wanna buy some cabbages? They're the finest cabbages in all of Bossing Say. We can say no or Austin. I'll just say no. Well, it's your loss, kid. So can I damage? There we go, no! My cabbages! Whoops, why? I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I couldn't help myself. That was so funny. Okay, so what else are we gonna do around here? Who can we talk to and interact with? Cause we're not the other area, so maybe there's like things we can do there and then come back here, all that kind of stuff. Hey kid, wanna buy some cactus juice? Uh, I would love to, but it didn't give me the option to actually respond. Oh, well, we can fight you. Mako, or Miko? Hey, you're a bender, right? I've been looking for someone to fight. Are you up for it? Sure, we have a brand new fire bending I wanna try out. Detective Miko. Whoa, and they're definitely a firebender as well. Let's see if we can't keep our distance from them, like this. And then, whoa, they're jumping right at me, so that might not work, but I'm just gonna hit them with as much fire as I can. And it, it's working out pretty decently. And when they get close like this, maybe start throwing some water at them. We can really hold it down too, to I guess hit harder. I think we got them. Whoa, that was great, so quick. Wow, you're good. Are you sure you're not a pro at this? Thanks for the training. Let's get a reward for that one. Very cool, so that's another point for us. I guess we could talk to them again if we wanted to, but it would just be a rematch. I don't think we get any extra points for rematches. Now this, we could definitely break through. So we'll go through there in just a moment. In the meantime though, anything else around here? Oh wow, yeah, we got some extra water benders. Oh, it's, it's Sokka, okay. We've got exactly three copper pieces left. Let's spend them wisely. Right, we still need to get some food. Cabbage? Not again, please not again. Then what do you wanna eat? Meat, look, I know we can't afford meat, but can we just pretend? Hello, I'm Katara and this is my brother Sokka. We're here from the Southern Water Tribe. You're not from around here either, huh? I'm the Avatar, I knew it. Yeah, I'm sure you did. It's an honor to meet you, Avatar. The poles are spiritually powerful places. Perhaps visit the Southern Water Tribe sometime. I would love to, so we'll unlock that one for sure. Very, very cool. And is there anything else? Uh, I guess not. But still, just talking to characters to unlock new things is super exciting. And is there anything down here? I can't really talk to you too much. Oh, that building is on fire over there. So there's a lot to tend to. We've been inside this building. Doesn't look like it. Open the door, take a look around. Maybe somebody here is, is you know, able to talk, or at least we can collect something. We haven't found too many more collectibles around here besides the one um, token. We did talk to you. But you know what, we have that extra point. Let's go and get our earth bending ability, uh, which is earth throw. Send chunks of earth hurtling towards opponents. Charge earth throw to increase the size of the boulder. Whoa. So now we have one of each, which I think would be pretty important just to, whoa, look at this, boom. Doesn't go as far, I think, if it's bigger, but I, I do wanna find, where was that one door we opened? That could lead to something important, you never know. I think it was down this way, yeah, this opening that we made. What's going on out here? It's like a nice little garden area. This place just keeps going and going there. Everywhere we turn, bossing say gets bigger and bigger. So we get another one of those, and I can meditate here real quick. I think that sets my spawn point each time, so I think it's worth doing. Now, what was going on down here? We have you. Hello. This is just a citizen. Wonderful day, isn't it? I come to this park every day to relax. It is very relaxing. Is this person like training? Whoa, could fill up, the, fill up the well with water, or maybe we're taking the water out of the well. So before we go down farther in that garden, 
I would like to go back down this way because we saw another familiar character on the other side of the well. And I just want to make sure that we're interacting with as many people as possible. See, that was right over here. I can already see them. So we'll try to talk to them because yet yeah, they're looking for a battle. This is Zuko. I will find the Avatar. I am most definitely not the Avatar. Wait, something's not quite right here. You must be the Avatar. I will capture you and restore honor to my name. My name is Zuko, son of Fire Lord Ozai, and the, the heir to the throne. I will be at my father's side once more. We'll see about that one. So Fire Prince Zuko is our next fight, and this one might be a bit intense. Oh boy. Let's fight fire with water, I think. But we also might want to give this a go. Oh, they're gonna hit me pretty hard right away. I'm just gonna throw that right at you. Oh, I missed. Come on, come on. It takes some time to throw out the next one. It requires earth source. So I guess we don't have one of those. Or a water source. Okay, let's just use air. Air is so reliable because there's always air around. If there's no air around, then we have some, some problems. But I get, can also throw out a fire stream like this. That's pretty good. They are hurting me pretty good right now, but maybe we can just walk up and get a couple of punches in. That's not too bad. I wonder if you could win this game melee only, just walking up and punching. <laughs> Probably not, but you never know. But definitely used to punching. How is there not water near us right here, you know? It doesn't let me throw out the water whip, even when I'm in the water. This is so weird. Yeah, I have a water source. <laughs> I guess that doesn't count, that's very odd. Okay, they're really trying to pack a punch here, but we're so close to getting you. Come on, come on. I think that's it, awesome. No, I refuse to lose to you. Fight me again, Avatar, I will not give up. Okay, let's try it again, I guess. Fire Prince Zuko, do we just do this forever? I hope not. I mean, it's fight number two, maybe we'll get an extra reward out of it. The first fight was pretty tough though. I think this time we know a bit better. I'm just going to try to punch you a little bit, but oh no. Maybe just using the, <laughs> fighting fire with fire still seems to be super good, because that's just consistent damage for sure. Oh boy. We got you pretty good there, but we're, we're out of energy for a bit, so now might be the good, the best time to walk up and punch. It seems like punching makes it restore faster. I might be wrong with that. I might be just restoring normally, regardless. Can throw some more air blades over and then get some punches out. Come on. Actually, I might just, there we go. I almost got you. There we go. Two times you're out. Right? No. Gain award. So we get ourselves another point there. They don't seem to be happy, buddy. We want the blue spirit mask. Avatar, you here to rub it in? <laughs> I think I am, but now we'll leave. Oh, what about you? The city guard. This guy owes me five coppers. Some people are just so rude. Oh no. So what's going on down this way? Seems like a little shopping area. I can grab ourselves another token, a tile. I don't see anything more over here. I could maybe make this jump. Oh, I could. Cool, cool. Can't open that door though. Some of those blocks sort of look like doors, but they're not really supposed to be. What's wrong here? I guess the Dai Li are doing training exercises or something. They've been acting strangely for weeks now. Are they down this way? Oh, I think they will be. So, who are we facing off with here with the Dai Li? Oh man, they're definitely gonna try to hit me with everything they got, so getting rid of one of them there is pretty big. So the health bar only goes down once I defeat one of them. I wanna hit them with rock, but there's never an earth source, which is so weird because they clearly have one. Come on, okay, I got them. Now turn around and hit them a little bit, if possible. There we go. Oh no, time to turn to fire, I think. Gotcha, and then if I could, maybe just walk up to them. Ooh, gotcha. Is that enough? Not quite, you're a tough one. Ouch, uh oh. We are being surrounded at the moment. This is pretty intense. I think we switch over to fire. Cause I might be able to hit two people at once with the fire. That'd be, yeah, super convenient. Okay, I'm running around a little bit just to dodge your moves. Whenever there's two of them close together, I can just try to hit them with fire. There's you down, and then your friend over here, out for the count. There's still so many, still so many. I'm liking the fire bending so far. That seems to really do good. But I'm about halfway down to my health right now, which is not so good. Try to hit them both. Come on, come on, gotcha. They are so low. I'm just going to hit them with that as much as I can, and we did it. We defeated some more of the Dai Li. 
Whoa, we got somebody else waiting here too now? Okay, so who are you? We got an extra point for that too. Long Feng, what are you doing back here? Causing some trouble, huh? You better watch yourself. I am the leader of the Dai Li. We are a group of elite benders who protect the uh, protect the honor and cultural heritage of Ba Sing Se. Are the Dai Li corrupt? What? How dare you? You are under arrest for disturbing the peace in Ba Sing Se. Let's begin the duel. We'll see about that. Grand Secretariat, Long Feng. Okay, well this one might be a little bit more difficult to keep up with, but I'll try. Ooh, got a good dodge there for sure. So we're already trying to bring it to them as much as we can. If they get a little too close, we can start hitting them with the fire too. There we go, there we go. They're trying to hide and stuff too. I'm trying to dodge those moves as much as possible. Uh-oh, whoa, the huge wall? That's not good. But we're doing some great damage to them right off the bat. Ooh, they tried to get me with that. Not gonna work, not gonna work. I'm gonna walk up and punch you a little bit, but then we're gonna hit you with the fire. Ooh, we're doing some numbers for sure. Ooh, gotcha! So we've defeated Long Fang. You've been made an enemy of the Dai Li and the glorious city of Ba Sing Se. Better watch your back, kid. Oh my. Well, I guess that clears up this whole area so that we can sort of look around a little bit more. But that was so interesting. And I think we get an extra point for that. Yeah, there's people around here we can talk to now. So what does this guard have to say? I wonder what the Dai Li were doing here earlier. I would ask Long Feng, but he scares me. At least the path back to the apartments where I live is clear now. I'm glad I could help out with that, but I don't see anything else really to do in this section. I thought that some of these people I could talk to, but I guess not. If this is where we came in before, the city is so huge, I sort of wish I had a map. We are getting closer to that building that was on fire though, so maybe we should check that out. Oh, we can go inside of this building. So far we haven't found anything in these, but maybe soon, maybe soon. I just wanna find more of the tokens wherever I can, but might not be worth worrying about too much. I guess it's like a big bed or something. Okay, back down this way. Can I jump over here? Sort of, there we go, cool shortcut. It's not really anything over here, so hopefully I can make my way to this next one. Are you feeling all right? Some people are just sort of sitting around. But now that I have three points, I think that'd be a great opportunity to get another air bending technique. This time, the air sphere. Encircle yourself in a blistering gale that can block incoming attacks. This ability send, sends out a blast of air when released. Okay, cool. So I think we'll save up our points so that we can get the tornado next, but so far so good, right? I'm going to get this one over here. So we sort of have everything sectioned off based on what you know, element it is. So we have air sphere. That is so cool. I like it, I like it. And what's going on around here? Is that a coffin up there? Uh-oh, we're in trouble. The Fire Nation army is attacking. We gotta go. Get rid of as many of these guys as we can. That gets rid of one of them straight away. So that's good. They're not super strong so far. Ah, one's on top of me. Scary. But I do wanna walk up to you maybe and just do that. Oh, that was cool. But they're packing a punch. This could become a problem. Okay, did I get them? I don't think so. They really hurt. I need to run around a little bit and wait for my energy to like restore. And maybe my health go back up. That seems to be working, uh-oh. Come on, come on. How did that miss? I don't know. I'll do this real quick. Ready? Boom, that didn't do anything. <laughs> the range on it's not super huge. Okay, I got you. These other guys are sort of just standing around. Maybe my chance then to use some fire there we go, much better, much better. There are some behind me though. Then you over here, I got gotcha. you. The range on that's really nice. Oh no, oh, they're using moves and they already got knocked out. That's rough. Okay, here we go, here we go, ready? Boom, that got you pretty good, but it wasn't enough. That should be good. And then back over here, I'm gonna do that move right back at you. I just gotta be careful because we are just about Oh no, we did it! Okay, I was gonna say we're just about out of health, but we defeated them first. So I guess that opens up a little thing around here. And we get also another point. So what is with this? It looks like there's a coffin up here. I don't know if we can interact with it at all. No, that's not what I wanted. There we go. I think so. King Boomy. Whoa, I didn't even see that there was a person in there. Ah, oh, that's right. <laughs> don't worry about me. I'm having a great time up here in this cage. Uh, okay, if you're sure about that. 
So I can't bust you free or anything? I guess not. Oh, you know what? I have to look down at the ground to make that work. That's so neat. Now I know, now I know. Ah, uh, is that the Fire Nation? Why are they here? Why is everything on fire? This is above my pay grade, right? Well, don't worry, I've already dealt with it. Life is tough around here for us non-benders. If a bender approaches and starts making demands, well, there's nothing we can do. That's not fair. Ooh, how about this? This is Jet. Stop right there. What are you, some kind of Fire Nation spy? No. Then stay out of my way. I'm pretty sure that old man inside is Fire Nation. Nab Jet's sword. Well, I took it, okay. Don't mind if I do. Then who's in here? Oh, it's you. This is a uh, Iro. Hello there, would you like a cup of tea? Sure. Understandable, I like to relax with a cup of tea and being the avatar must keep you very busy indeed. You know who I am? You have the look of someone who has the world on their shoulders, avatar. Have you considered taking a vacation? Ember Island is very pleasant this time of year. You can relax on the beach or watch a performance. Life is not just about protection and power. You must t make time for love and happiness too. Unlock Ember Island. So we're unlocking more areas here, which is really exciting. What's out this way? Oh, we have another token, another tile. Awesome. So we're finding lots of stuff. Happy about it. And I can just pretty simply jump back over here. So I don't know if there's too much more for us to do in this section specifically. It could be pretty easy to get lost from time to time, but I think we figured most of it out. Oh, this is the other side of the garden. So I might as well break that open just so that I know I've been here. But there isn't really anything more to find. So well, let's go back over to where we were. We defeated the Fire Nation invasion that was going on. We got a cool sword there. So unless there's other people to talk to, I think we're good to sort of move forward. I'll get this so that we don't have to backtrack if we do end up dying. So I don't think we can go into that room there, but on the other side of this, this is all stuff we've not explored yet. Whoa. There's a couple of people to talk to over that way. Ooh, what about you? This is my Princess Azula has been looking for you. We had a lot of fun capturing King Bumi just to lure you out here. Although I'm not sure if anyone actually noticed that he was missing. <laughs> I guess not. So is this Queen Azula? I think so. My brother and my uncle have disgraced the Fire Lord and have brought shame on all of us. As the true heir of the Fire Nation, it is up to me to protect my father's legacy. I challenge you to a duel, Avatar. I will show what a true firebending master is capable of. Sure, let's begin the duel. Fire Princess Azula. Oh man. They seem pretty intense. So hopefully we can handle this. I might just throw some of the um, air blades right away, but they are really starting to pack a punch here. I don't know if we're ready to actually handle this one, but I might try something like this without even hurt them. I need to be like right on top of them to do that one, I think. There we go, it knocks them super far away. And then I can throw some water at you, maybe? Where'd you go? What? Ah, they're behind me, okay. So far, we're able to keep a full health. Your health was low, so you've activated the avatar state. Whoa, okay, never mind. So, <laughs> that's what happened. So I guess we're fighting more now, but eventually that's gonna end, I can only guess. But let's punch you like this and then just start hitting you with fire. That is working pretty well. I think our avatar state has ended, but I'm just gonna pack a punch as much as I can, and then maybe hit them with a rock. That was pretty good. Hit them with another rock and I think we got them. Awesome. I don't understand what just happened. Ty Lee, my, you should have fought harder. Don't look so proud of yourself, Avatar. That was hardly a fair fight. Whatever, I'm already over it. So we can gain a reward for that one. Cool. So I think with that we've sort of, yeah, we saved the king. That's nice. Hello. Greetings, Avatar. I'm the King of Omashu. I was here on a diplomatic mission, but those Fire Nation scoundrels caught me off guard. Thanks for freeing me. No problem. Now, Avatar, it's time for your real challenge to begin. I challenge you to a duel. You may think I'm a frail old man, but I'm the most powerful earthbender you'll ever meet. Let's give it a try then. Let's begin our no another duel here. Mad Genus, King Boomy. We're just finding people all over the place. Person after person, we got the king here dancing around all silly. Let's go for it. So, you know what, we might wanna try some earthbending, just to, you know, give that a go. And that worked out pretty well, but oh man, they got more for us here. Okay, so, I'm sort of cornered against the wall here. They seem to recognize that and backed up. 
Don't think it's a good idea to corner an avatar. Okay, let's go with this then. Hitting with as much fire as I can muster. Am I gonna try to dodge that? I think that when they start prepping that, I just need to double jump. We got them halfway down. And I would like to hit you with the big rock. That was good. That was definitely good. And then trying to dodge that one. Oh, we do! Awesome! Oh man, that got me good though. I think we just wanna dodge around a little bit here, but as soon as I can. Oh man, just barely dodged it again. Hit you with the fire as soon as possible, but you're running away from me. You get back here. Okay. Oh, did I hit you with that? I think I did. Oh, couldn't quite get you with that one. That would've been a pretty big deal. There we go, much better, much better. And since we haven't done any, let's do some water bending. There we go, we defeated King Boomy. Well done, Avatar. You fight with much fire in your heart. You've passed my test. Creativity cannot be undervalued when it comes to combat. I hope you will think like a mad genius in your fights to come. That's awesome, so we'll gain a reward from that one. An extra point, so we'll definitely spend that soon. You have unlocked Creeping Crystals. Visit Air Temple Island to view the collection. Very, very nice. So I don't think there's really too much more we can do around here. As far as I've been able to tell, we've found everything. So maybe we'll go back to our bison soon. I might poke around a little bit more, but I think in general, we found all that we need to find. So you know what? Yeah, let's go for it. We use the bison whistle here. And are we going back? Oh, I need to confirm it. There we go. It's so cute. Okay, so while we're here, is there anywhere I can meditate really quickly? I think right over this way. We got a lot done here though. So that's always good. So I'll go back over here. And I think we'll get our final thing with Tornado. Conjure a devastating twister that seeks out opponents. Tornadoes will damage and knock back opponents who come into contact with it. So that sounds like a really cool one to get. So, oh, we even get some extra health for that. You've mastered airbending. You're ready to prove yourself against Avatar Aang. Speak to his statue on Air Temple Island. So we'll do that soon enough, but I think in the meantime, we'll do that and head on to our ne next adventure. So we've unlocked a bunch of areas, almost all of them. So we've been on uh, Ba Sing Se. We were starting at Air Temple Island. Let's go to Southern Water Tribe. Off we go. So I'm guessing there'll be more to explore in these spots. Whoa, okay, yeah, this is where we saw, I mean, this is where Sokka and, uh, I'm forgetting their name right now, but they, they told us to go. Oh, and there's the big ship and everything. This is so cool. So let's look around the, the little village first. Some people are just sort of taking a nap. I probably shouldn't uh, bother them then. How does ship get all up on the ice like that? That shipwreck on the coast is such an eyesore. We shouldn't have to be constantly reminded of every everything we lost whenever we go fishing. This is Kana. It might not look like it through the eyes of an outsider, but Wolf Cove's history goes back hundreds of years. But everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked, and now this is all that's left of our town. View the Southern Water Tribe. So let's take a look at it ourselves, the different things we can explore around here. With this huge igloo. That is so cool. It's a small village, but it used to be much greater. And there's the huge ship. I hope we get to explore that. That'd be really cool. There's plenty more out that way too. I don't know if this area will be like, there will be as much to do as there was in Ba Sing Se. It doesn't seem like it, but we'll definitely make the most out of exploring everything. That was cool. Can look inside the tents a little bit too, because we're still looking for the, the tokens and stuff. We can also head into here. Anybody to talk to? Oh, it's you. We got Sokka again. So, you're the avatar, huh? That's pretty cool. Me? I'm Sokka. I got stuck here training the kids in case the Fire Nation comes back one day. I might not be able to bend, but I'm going to be a great fighter and protect my friends and family. Hey, take this boomerang. Truly the most loyal weapon of them all. So, so we get a, a boomerang as a gift. Very nice, very nice. And then we have over here, just a villager. Avatar Korra was born in the Southern Water Tribe. How much do you really know about her? I know, it's trivia time, yay. I do not know much about Korra. What is the name of Korra's polar bear dog? Uh, it's not Appa, it's not Uro. It may be Momo? Maybe Pabu? Not quite, try again. What is the name of, okay, so it's not Pabu. Let's try Momo. 
Okay, Naga, there we go. <laughs> That's right, Korra and Naga became friends when they were both still cubs, out here in the Southern Water Tribe. Huh, neat, so now I know a little bit more. What else is there to do around here? I think there's one more tent to poke into. It's the cabbages guy again. Well, I definitely gotta knock over the cabbages, right? Getting my cart here through the snow was such hard work and yet nobody wants to buy my cabbages. <laughs> so we can just beat it up again. I think we need to, hold on. Did that not work? Huh, I had to use fire last time. There we go. <laughs> my cabbages. I was told that forgiveness is a virtue, so I forgive you. This isn't great, but at least I have three more carts. Okay, interesting. The young man, Soka, built this watchtower with his bare hands. It's a really interesting attempt. Huh, and there's another token up there. So first we'll rest up here. We don't really need anything because we don't have any points, but whoa, quite the view out here. Seems like there's a lot of nothing in a way. Like not really much we can accomplish, but I'll try to get out there soon. First, I want to get to the tippity top of this and get this. There we go. So we got another one of the tiles. Very cool. Yeah, I'm not seeing too much out there, so before we run out there and try to figure that out, I think we should just focus on the mission that we have going on right now, which is to explore some of the other stuff. So I think there was somebody out here, right, that might be able to battle us or something like that. I thought I saw somebody in the little overview. Oh, look, the little penguin things. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. What about you over here? Some strangers have set up a camp just across the ice plains. I wonder who they are. I guess I could go speak with them, but outsiders make me nervous. Huh, just across the ice plains. Do you mean these people? Maybe. These look like other waterbender kind of people. Maybe not. Unalak. Oh, I, just, I recognize that look. You must be the new avatar. As the avatar, you are the bridge between the material world and the spirits. I will teach you and help you fulfill your destiny. Sure, let's go for it. Water bending master, Unalak and the twins. Whoa. So we'll, I guess, learn a couple more about things about water bending here. I'll try to use my own water bending stuff against them, but might be easier said than done at times. Could also throw a rock at them. Sometimes that's an easier solution, especially when I hit multiples. Come on. That's not really working super well. But if they're all bunched up like this, I should be using fire, because I can hit multiple at once, just like that. Very cool. Oh, this music is so exciting. Oh no, not good. No, while we're farther away. Oh, did I? No, I got pushed out. No way. Does, does that not count? I guess not. Yikes, let's try. Oh man, so don't get pushed too far, or that's gonna happen. We haven't tried our tornado yet, so let's give that a go. Because the tornado, I think will automatically hit people. That's cool. And then you're right in front of me, so I guess I can just punch a little bit or maybe I can throw out some fire or something. There we go, that's not too bad. And then big rock, throw it over. That's working out pretty well. I'm trying to, uh, I don't know why it's not letting me charge it up all the way, but it's fine, it's fine. I'll punch you a little bit while we're waiting for our fire to come back and then I'll go for you as much as I can, but I gotta be careful not to get knocked out again. So going over here, hitting both of you at once is pretty huge. Now it's just Unalak. Come on, come on. You have a lot of health though. Luckily, so do we. I do wanna throw another tornado as soon as possible. If it lets me, there we go. I'm just gonna send it right at you. And while it is, did it even hit you? No, it's just over there. How do I send it over there? I guess I just gotta be closer or something. Weird. Come on, just keep hitting you with fire. The water bending is like the only thing I haven't used here. So there we go, we finish you off with that at the least. Excellent, I see you've er learned a lot on your journey so far. Perhaps soon you'll fulfill your destiny. I sure hope so, but we do get a reward for that. That will be the Vatu statue. Desna, Aska, it would appear that there is a stranger inside our tent. Yes, Desna, it does appear that way. What shall we do? Shall we summon father? Negative, let's just stare at them until they go away. Agreed, commencing staring. Oh no. Aska, it would appear that they were, they are still here. Yes, it would appear so, Desna. Huh, awkward. We'll leave. I don't know if there's too much more to do beyond that, but we'll head out this way. 
got more of these guys. I wish I could ride them like they do in the show. That's so cool. But there's got to be something with the ship that we can explore, right? Somehow to get up there and really take a good look around. I'm definitely going to try because it's just way up here. Oh, yeah, you can see an entrance. This is cool. Okay, we're inside. Can I open any of these doors? Not quite. Will there be anybody waiting? It looks like it. Are you... Oh, no, that's just a helmet. <laughs> that scared me a little bit. But there is a door over this way. Hmm. I think we'll keep with air for now. Can't open any of these doors. So we'll run over to this room. I can't open any of these doors either. There's not much in here then. Well, there is something in there, but how do I get in? Maybe I just gotta break it open myself? For some reason, I don't have... Maybe it's because of the room we're in? Since there's no elements in here, there's no way I can use bending. Okay, now I can now. It was just weird, it was just not letting me do it before. I mean, obviously there's air in here, we wanna be able to breathe, but... Doesn't seem like I can do much. So weird that there'd be a, a ladder up here, but there's just nothing to do. Maybe I'm supposed to come back here later or something, because so far this is really confusing. <laughs> Oh no, there's a room right here. Gotcha. And now I can plop down this way and get it myself. There we go. Took some work, but we found it. I don't think there's anything else going on with this, so I think we're good to head out. Maybe I'll try to climb to the top of it, but I'm not expecting anything to really be there. It might be difficult to do with all this ice, though. There we go. Doing a little bit better. Okay, I've made it, I've made it. I'm not seeing too much going on up here. It is very cool to climb, though. Hmm, maybe on this side a little bit? Not really looking like it. Okay, I don't think there's anything up here. So we'll go back to the village, or at least look around there to see if there's anybody else to fight. So back on that side, it seemed like there was a little bit more. So I will, yeah, walk over here. And let's see for ourselves. Who are these people? Oh, here you are. Hi. Oh, it's Katara. Welcome to Wolf Cove. It's an honor to have you here, Avatar. I'm the only water bender in the village, but I'll do my best to help you on your journey. Let's begin the duel then. So we're gonna be battling water bending master Katara. That seemed pretty intense. So I guess we'll try to, you know, use some water bending against them. So far, not so bad. Definitely packing a bit of a punch, but gotta be careful because running out of energy here. That's where I can just go back to punching a little bit. And then once it gets a little more intense, if you walk over here, that didn't do too much. You need to be careful about using that one. We're gonna use Earth Pool and then, oh, you just barely dodged it. Oh, and I missed that one entirely. Okay, maybe this is not going so well. How is that going through you? That was sort of baloney. Oh no, I got knocked out again. That keeps happening to me. Okay, we're gonna try again. Keep at it, bending is all about using the environment to your advantage. Since we're surrounded by snow, have you tried using water bending? I have. You were still able to beat me up pretty well, so we're gonna try again. This time I'm determined to win. Okay, so I might just start with fire right away. Cause it does some good damage and like, you know, we're just sort of standing here, hitting you with everything we got. Then I punch you a little bit while our energy comes back up. Then I might do a tornado. Gotcha. And then some water. Ooh, you're getting knocked all over the place. So now I can really try to bring the fight to you. Where did you go? Whoa, that tornado's really doing some stuff to you. Come on, just a little bit more. We definitely have a lead on you right now. I just wanna keep it that way. So I'll use the earth pool. Yeah, toss some of that stuff. If we can do that one more time, we'll be in a really good spot. But I might just want to try to push you out. I don't know if that gets me to win. I don't think that counts for me. That's not fair. They can knock us out, but if we knock them out, it doesn't really do anything. But there we go. Either way, we, we beat Katara. Wow, I'm impressed, Avatar. Well, thank you very much. Wolf Cove might be small, but we never give up. Would you like to duel again? I do not want to rematch at the moment, but that was definitely really fun. I think that we've done everything we can do in this area, though. I mean, there's more stuff, you know, out in the distance, but I don't know if that is anything. So I might run out really quickly just to see. But if it isn't, then I guess we'll turn back. Oh, whoa, what's happening? It just sends me back here. Okay, see, so, yeah, we're not supposed to go out that far. Um, I do have enough points, though, to get some kind of new move, so I guess we should meditate on it and decide. 
right over here. So we of course got all the air bending moves. Maybe I move over to water now. We have the octopus form. Embrace the waves and become the embodiment of an eight tentacled beast. You can block incoming attacks and deal massive damage at close range. For two points, might as well. So I do need to reorganize this again because I want to do that. We won't be able to have all the elements in our selection, unfortunately, but I can at least get a good chunk of them. Is there anything else I can do around here? I don't think so. I think we've gotten it all done. So we'll head out of this area and over to the next one. So here's our little flying bison. Where can we go next? Next up is the Rumble Arena. Whoa, so here we are at the Rumble Arena. We'll definitely take a look around. I don't think there'll be too much going on, at least on the outside of it, but I guess this is where we can fight some people and maybe claim some kind of honorable title. That'd be fun. So let's go over here and of course first beat up your, your cabbage stall. I thought all of these fighters would be hungry for cabbages, but I haven't sold a single one. Well, can't really help you much with that, but I can do this. There we go. My cabbages, whoops. You know, I may not be the protagonist or anything, but I'm doing my best out here try just trying to peddle these leafy delights. Why do you do this to me? So sorry. Well, I don't think there's anything more to do around here. Let's head in to the arena. Whoa, this is so cool. Oh my gosh, there's a lot going on up there. Zin Fu. Welcome to Earth Rumble 677. <laughs> I am your host, Zin Fu. Are you interested in joining the fray? Prove yourself in the free for all and then we'll talk. So the Earth Rumble. Hopefully we can use all of our elements, but this seems so neat. So I'm guessing this is more of a smaller area, a bit more simple, but we can take on tons of foes. Whoa, and you can see little just walls in the, in the arena that we can like hide from or hide with. That is so neat. We'll definitely give it a try. They do not have anything else to say. So I guess we just walk in and we fight. Dude, this area is so simple. Here I am. Oh no, just right away. We got the combatants popping up. I tried to throw this at you, but it wasn't far enough. Oh no, we did get you. Okay, that's good. I see another one over here. Gotcha. You're knocked out now too, I think. Boom, you're down. There are so many of them. But luckily it seems to be more of a quantity thing than a difficulty thing so far. We just hit them once or twice and they're down. Oh, here you are, gotcha. Might wanna use some other moves as well. I do wanna try the octopus form. So maybe we'll sneak up on you and then, oh, I need water. I don't have water, so <laughs> never mind. Can't do that one. But I can take them out another way, so. I think three hits from this, or maybe even just two, does the job pretty well. So far this is actually not too difficult. Tossing that over to you. Gotcha. And then you too. Oh man, gotcha still, even though somebody hit me. Here comes another. Ooh, gotcha. We're doing really good. We just them no problem. Oh, but there's more waiting for us. So let's start with you in the front, I guess. You've earned yourself entry to the Earth Rumble. You'll have to defeat three powerful opponents one after another without taking a break. Are you ready? I guess so. Enter the Earth Rumble. So first, the pro wrestler Zin Fu. Let's see what we can do about you. I'll start with one of these and then I'll try to dodge yours. Yeah, there we go. Um, I need another Earth, earth source. Uh-oh. Uh, I dodged it somehow. I think they're getting really close. So I still don't have any water around, but I can use the tornado. I wonder if there's any way to knock them off. That'd be so cool. Just like knock them off the side like this. Whoa, it worked. Uh, see ya. Dude, does that, does, no, they came back here. I was gonna say, does that mean I won? <laughs> I guess not. That's so silly. Come on, come on. That seems to be doing something. In the meantime, whoa. It just hit you with this much stuff. We don't have water. I keep trying to use water, but I can use fire. It seems like maybe earth and water are sort of the weakest in that way that they need something to throw. Fire and air just seems like you could do it anywhere at any time. Okay, I'm out of points, so I'm just gonna try to punch you a little bit and then throw another tornado at you and then just back to the, the fire. Come on, we almost got you. There it is, the first opponent taken down. Wow, that was some impressive bending. Are you ready for the next round? I think I am. 
Is it against you again? Pro Wrestler The Boulder. So we ride into them in Ba Sing Se. We challenge them to the fight, but they said to wait for here. And here we are. So let's go for it again. Oh no, oh, I tried to dodge that one. Didn't go so well. I gotta be careful for moves like that because that'll knock me off super easily. How did that miss? I don't know, but this one, not missing as much, is it? There we go, much better. We give you as much of a problem as we can muster. Ooh. Have to sort of run around a little bit while we're waiting for our stuff to come back. Okay, so eventually they just sort of get warped back to the, ent the entrance, but the center of it. Okay, does that work? It does. And then while it is, where did you go? Where did you go? Oh, you got set way up. Okay, I'm gonna have a full thing of energy here. Ah, I couldn't quite dodge it. Let's move back to the center then. I'll try to get you. Ooh, you're gonna be in trouble now. You're gonna try to launch me around, but not on my watch. That was pretty good. I might just wanna punch a couple of times while our energy is coming back. That worked out quite well. Uh-oh, uh-oh, this is not good. Where'd you go, where'd you go? <laughs> they were just waiting for me. That's so silly. I was able to get them pretty good though. Uh, and I think I got them, okay, cool. The boulder is dissatisfied by this outcome, although the boulder does look forward to watching you get crushed by the little girl. Ooh, so our next opponent is going to be the blind bandit Toth. Ooh, this one's cool. This is one of my favorite characters from the show. Okay, so we'll grab a rock and I'll try to hit you with everything I got. Oh no. Ooh, we almost got you still. I'm gonna send that flying over, but she is able to dodge out pretty easily. That was good. Oh no, ooh, that could be a bit of a problem. I might wanna switch over to some other elements here real quick. Like we could do Tornado. Just like that maybe, did that work? It did, it did. So, oh man. Come on, come on, we got you halfway down. I'm gonna hit you with all the fire that I have. We almost got you here. There we go, now we need to do some punch in. Much better, much better. A little bit more. And there we go, we did it. We defeated all three of them. Wow, you really took me down and snatched away my champion ballot? I never thought this day would come, to be honest. Nice work, thank you, thank you. So for that, we get an extra point and you unlock the Earth Rumble Champion Belt. That is so cool. So I really don't think there's anything else to do around here from what I can see. So I think we'll skedaddle from this one and go somewhere else. With our extra points, we should for sure try to uh, get something going on. Four points is quite a lot for us not to use. So we were trying to get more water bending stuff. We might as well continue with that. We have Frost Breath. Exhale a bone chilling mist that deals damage and freezes what opponents in place. This ability can be held to send a continuous stream of cold air. So we can unlock this for four points. Might as well. That seems really fun. So that should be, no wait, not there. I guess, hold on, I'm getting it all mixed up. That's much better. Something like that. We haven't really been around water, so I haven't been able to use any of these, but ooh, this one works. That's so cool. So we'll go back to our Sky Bison and skedaddle to, um, I guess, Ember Island. So we've made it to Ember Island, and with this one, is there anything out do, to do out here in the dock? There is, whoa, a big ship to explore. I might wanna do this now before I forget, because it looks like there might be some stuff over here. And we can also use more of a water stuff. I, I have a water source, it's the ocean. So silly. Okay, almost there. Ooh, that was a good jump. And will people be fighting me up here? Oh yes, they will. So let's try our frost breath. The Fire Nation Navy is coming in. Oh gosh, no wait. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> that was not what I wanted at all. Okay, we're trying again. I wanna run up to them and try the octopus form. That only works if I'm closer. Okay, so maybe I could just knock you off like this. That was pretty cool. Got rid of them for it, and then you. That seems like it's working all right, but honestly, the other moves I've been using are pretty nice too. See, I can't really use earth here, 
but I can hit you with some fire. Same thing to your friends over here. The tornado's still going for one while I'm fighting the other. That's pretty nice to multitask like that. A couple more Fire Nation guys over here. No way, really? Ah, oh, that stinks. So I seem to be about where I was before. I can just hold the Frost Breath out, and that seems like it does, you know, enough damage to actually get rid of a good few of them there. So that's really cool. And then maybe if I back up a little bit, I need to wait for, oh gosh. Yeah, run over here, throw out the tornado again, just like this, and then back to the Frost Breath. That's more than defeated, but there's still more waiting. Come on, come on, got it, sort of. Ooh, there's a lot going on here. I just might maybe need to fight you, like this. There's just so many. I need to back it up, they're really starting to hurt. I can hit them with fire too, and there we go, we were able to defeat them. Cool. And I guess now we fight you? Zhao, well huh, you're the plucky new avatar I've been hearing about. You look even weaker than I expected. Centuries from now, people will study the great Admiral Zhao and read that he was stronger than even the avatar. You're lucky, kid, you're about to make history. Oh no. So let's see how we can handle Fire Admiral Zhao. Let's go for it. Another fight waiting for us. This time I think we'll use a lot of the Frost Breath if possible. There we go. So whenever you get near me, it's gonna hit you with that as much as I possibly can. It'd be cool if it slows them down. It sort of looks like it does, so I could just use up my, my whole sort of set of things here. They don't like that very much, so. i fight you a little bit like that. I can't use any earth bending here, but I'll use the tornado real quick. There we go. Now you're in trouble, and then I'm going to fight fire with fire. We got you about halfway down, which is more than what you have me, so keep fighting like that, and then back to fire. This is it. This seems to just be the, the most set, steady sort of source of damage is the fire stream. So whenever I can, I just try to do that, and then punch you around a little bit more, and I think this might be enough to defeat you. Come on, just a tiny bit more. Come on, we can get you, we can get you. There it is, we defeated General Zhao. Impossible, I am Admiral Zhao. I'm destined for greatness. I will destroy you and then I will destroy the moon. The, the moon? Why the moon? Avatar, why are you back? For no reason, just wanted to see how you're doing. Uh, is there anything else on the ship though? Maybe something way in the back? I'd imagine. I'm not really seeing anything though. Maybe if we were crazy and climbed all the way up here, there could be another tile, but I don't really see too much of a way to make that jump. So we're gonna leave it and I guess go back the way we're supposed to. I've, I've sort of got a little ahead of myself here. And go check all that stuff out. I should be able to, whoa, we do a little flips even in the water. I like it. Um, should be able to talk to them though and get a little tour of what's going on around here. That would be fun. See, let's get up here and we'll talk to you a bit. Welcome to Ember Island. It's a great place to come and relax. Let's view Ember Island for ourselves. Wow, very cool building. I like the moss growing on the top of the, the, the ceiling too, the roof. Oh, and some nice little relaxing areas too. Nice beach to take a tan on. That's nice. And then back over here we have this, which we've already done. Yeah, I definitely got a little too ahead of myself with that, but that's okay. Cool, so with that done, that means there's just a few more things to check out over this way. And I'm guessing that once we get enough tokens or whatever they are, enough points to unlock everything, we can take on all the statues and maybe that's sort of the end of the adventure. In the meantime, I can just burn through this door and, hello, who's this? Ozai. Hi, I'm the Avatar. Of course you are. What are you doing here? I'm not allowed to leave. Why's that? I continued a hundred year long war and tried to conquer the four nations. Avatar Aang took away my bending and now I'm stuck here with you. Okay, take your crown. Okay, now they have even less. Even not the Fire Lord crown. So this sort of takes place after everything in a way. It's very interesting. And what about you? Oh, didn't we just talk to you before you? It's Eero. Uh, hello there, Avatar. Vacations are just wonderful, aren't they? In my old age, I have learned to take life less seriously. There's nothing wrong with a life of peace and prosperity. But if you'd rather we fight, that's good too. Let's begin our duel. 
So we're going against the Grand Lotus Hero. And this one says four on the top. I guess is, that means it's like a more difficult opponent. But so far we've been doing really good. So I'm not too worried about it. We'll hit you with some Frost Breath as soon as possible. Which does good damage, but it's not as good as just hitting them with this. So why would I do anything different? You know, maybe back up a little bit, grab a rock and then hit you like that. That definitely does some good stuff too. Ooh, okay, back it up a little bit. Maybe restore. Well, oh, they're jumping all over the place, that's so cool. Come on, they're halfway down already, so we're doing a good job. Don't think this is gonna be really too much of an issue. But if we wait for a full bar of fire again, I'll just keep hitting them. I do wanna try, though, more of the octopus form. That's the one I didn't really get to try too much before. It gets to knock them back a bit. Come on, just a few more hits should be good. Ooh. We we'll use the air blades against you, and there we go. We defeated Ira. Congratulations, Avatar. I always believed in you. While it is always best to believe in oneself, a little help from others can be great a great blessing. And we get a little reward for that one too. An extra point and Iroh's teapot. Very generous. So let's work on leveling up, I guess, more of the earth bending. We have the earth throw. Let's try the earthquake. Stomp the ground and send out an earth shattering shockwave, which launches nearby opponents. Charge earthquake to perform a larger, more powerful attack. Cool. So we got that one. I think we'll do this, just so we have a whole set of everything. Like I said, we can't keep all of them out at all times, unfortunately, but I think we're fine with what we have. So there's nothing else in this building. It's nothing over that way. I guess we're good to head out to the little beach area that's over here, talk to a couple of characters. If there's a way to access it from here, <laughs> I'm not quite sure. There we go. I think I might be going a little bit of a weird way, but We've made it, we're on the beach. Is there anything out here? If we learned anything from the ice area, it'll probably just send me back, so I don't wanna go too crazy far out, but what's up with all this? Oh, they're playing volleyball, that's so cool. That girl is so mean. She said that my face looks bland and that I'm a nameless side character. Ugh, that's not very nice. What about you? Oh, this is Azula. Ugh, it's you. Did my trader uncle tell you to come here? Just. Go away, I'm on vacation. Well, I wanna enjoy the vacation too. Then there was a couple more people, you know, soaking up some sun. Ty Lee, okay, they're sleeping. And then uh, Mai. I sent Suka to go fetch us ice cream half an hour ago. What's taking him so long? Maybe he's looking for us. We have more of our friends out here too. Whoa, cool. Oh, this is Zuko. No, I said I wanted extra chocolate sprinkles. <laughs> this is cute. That guy has been yelling at the ice cream salesman for 20 minutes now. Some people really just need to learn how to relax. I guess so. Oh, it's tough. All the sand makes it kind of hard to see what's going on. Hey, Avatar, don't mind us. We're just here to relax. The water is so blue. I could just watch the waves for hours. Who's this? Oh, we got Sokka over here. Man, this sure beats standing watch in the Southern Water Tribe. This is Suki. Oh, okay. I miss Kiyoshi Island, but yeah, this is very nice. It's even nicer with you here, Suki. Aw, oh, Sokka, I think that's so sweet. So everyone's just sort of relaxing and enjoying their time, which is always a good thing. Can I talk to you? There you go. Hello, I'm the world's foremost avatar expert. If you've met anyone who th says the same thing, well, they're wrong. Okay, how about some trivia about my personal favorite avatar, Avatar Roku? Great, which Fire Lord was Avatar Roku friends with in his youth? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe Ozai? Azalon? I'm guessing at this point, there we go. Correct, Sozin and Roku began as friends, but ended up bitter enemies. Even still, it said that Avatar Roku never stopped loving his friend. I think there was a little bit more left to do off in the distance here. Oh, and there's another tile. I'll grab that one. And let's see what the deal is here. And the cabbages, of course, but, oh, look, it's like a little play. Prince, uh, Prince Zuko sure does talk about honor a lot. He must be the good guy. I hope he captures that pesky avatar. I don't know about that. I find these characters fun and relatable. So let's see what they're saying up here. Hang? I flew all over town, but I couldn't find a single earthbending master. Psst, hey kid, you're kind of in the way of the performance. How about you take this limited edition poster and um get out of the way? Sure. 
Honor, 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 honor. Honor, honor. Err, I captured that pesky avatar. Honor, honor. You can't find an earthbending master in the sky. You must look on the ground. My name's Toph because it sounds like tough. And that's just what I am. My heart is so full of hope. That's what makes it me tear bend. Oh. All I want is a full feeling in my stomach. I'm starving. So I guess that's all the characters around here. That was neat. So at this point, I don't really know too much more what to do. I know that this one area we've yet to unlock, I didn't see any characters that would unlock it, but I guess in the meantime, we just need to get a couple more points and everything. I just don't know where to do that. I guess if we defeat the statues, maybe they'll give me more points so that I can get the rest of the earth and fire bending stuff. Cause if not, I'm a little stumped to say the least. I didn't see anybody else around here to fight. So yeah, let's go for that, I guess. If we go back over to you. We can't go to the Northern Air Temple, but I can go back to Air Temple Island. So we're back here on Air Temple Island where we should be able to fight at least a couple of the statues. Like we have you here. I think for you, we needed all the earth bending techniques. What about you? All of the past avatars, all their experience and wisdom is available to you. This is Roku. Fire bending. So which one are we truly looking for? Okay, here's Aang. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Avatar Aang. With the help of my friends, I managed to bring an end to the Hundred Year War. Remember, don't forget what is most important to you and who you are. And just because you're the Avatar, that doesn't mean you can't have fun. So let's challenge Aang. You wanna fight? All right, let's go. I've been bored stiff over here. Let's begin our duel. Avatar Aang, and this is a level five battle. Oh boy. But I think we can handle it. So far, we've been doing really well against everybody. So let's just try the earthquake move really quickly since I haven't done that. Whoa, okay, that's really cool, but maybe not the best from that distance. If we get a little bit closer, I can go like that and really do a number to you. But once again, it always seems better just to do something else. <laughs> With this as much damage as it does, you know, it just seems always better. Come on, come on. I'm gonna hit you with as much fire as I can, but this is already an intense fight with stuff flying everywhere. Oh no, come on, come on. Okay, go for some more. Our health is slowly restoring, but I don't know, this is tough so far. Oh no. And of course, Aang is using all the different moves, not just air. Oh no. I guess we'll try this. From this distance, it still works, which is pretty surprising. Oh no, oh no, I need to run. I will try, oh no, one of these, since you're close enough for it, that did do some decent damage. Okay. Oh, and that one hit you too. That's good. The tornadoes are coming for me though, which is a little bit scary. I need to try to keep my distance from them if possible. Because if not, that'll be a problem. Gotta let some of my points restore though. Where did you go? Uh, uh there you are. Ah, did I get you with that? I did. Getting you a little bit more but I think we'll just use fire for a bit, just like this, because our health has been restoring just from not getting hurt for too long. Oh no, Thirteenia is going right for me. Come on, I gotta be able to get you here. Not so bad. Let's run away again, let my points restore, so that we can maybe finish you off. But these are by far the most difficult battles yet. Come on, come on. That wasn't too bad. Ooh, we got ya. Wait, no, no we didn't, no we didn't. I thought that was it. There we go, now we've got ya. Congratulations, Avatar. I see you are a true master of airbending. I guess so. So we got a reward for that one. You unlocked the airbending trophy. That's the problem though, is that it's not enough points to get everything. It's weird. Um, I've already received your gift. But I, I, have, I can fight Korra. The world will try and knock you down, Avatar. Let's challenge Korra. We already talked to them sort of before. Okay, so it will give this a go. Let's see for ourselves. Can we beat you at your own game? Oh, they're gonna use actually the uh, earth moves first. Oh no, oh, don't knock me out. That was really close. Okay, they're really trying to give me everything they got right now. I would just like to use a fire stream. Come on, that wasn't so bad. We got plenty of health left over too. Ouch. They're spinning around so much, that's so cool. Oh no you don't, no you don't. It's gonna keep firing you up. But now that 
Oh gosh, we're out of energy. I might wanna walk over and then boom. That was pretty cool, right? Yeah, very good, very good. I think throwing some rocks at you too might be good. They had the same idea. <laughs> they are spinning all around. I wonder if that's what we look like. Oh, it sort of is, that's so cool. So if I used a firebending here, we just have like different moves that we're just having fancy animations with, which is nice. But you still have so much health left that I just need to keep working on this. It'd be cool if something gave us more energy points. Like we get extra health for finding all of the uh, certain upgrades, but it'd be cool if we got more energy points. So I could just keep hitting them with fire, but not quite working that way. I think I will do a tornado of my own. Because the tornadoes are nice, because they'll try to do damage to you if they don't miss, while I can hit you with other things. All right, where are you now? Over this way. Okay. Now I'll try some air blades. This one has a lot more health. I feel like this is more challenging than Aang was even. Hard to tell, but just gotta keep hitting ya. Ooh, gotcha, that was a close one. I think we can hit you with a big one this time. That didn't do any damage though, did it? I don't think it did. That did, for sure. So, yeah, while you're running, I guess we need to avoid this tornado. Please don't throw me out. Come on, come on. Just a little bit more. We have so much more health than they do. It's just the duration of actually fighting them off that takes a while. But I might as well just do a little bit more damage by punching them. Come on, we are almost there. Just a little bit more. We'll do the earth pool, and I think we got them. Awesome. Congratulations, Avatar. I see you are a true master of water bending. I guess so. Um, and do we get anything for that? Yeah, we got the water bending trophy. So the thing is, is that we're not getting any points for defeating these statues. So I need to find more people to fight because we still need like a good chunk of points left. I don't know where to get those. So I don't think we ever went this way with this one guard. I wonder what the dialogue were doing here earlier. I would ask Long Fang, but he scares me. At least the path to the apartments where I live. Oh yeah, that's right, but I guess we didn't go this way? Huh, I suppose not. So yeah, let's see what the deal is up here. Oh, we definitely did not go into here. I like to come sit here after a long day and admire the view. Bossing is like truly is beautiful, isn't it? Hmm. So we'll go ahead and save here really quickly. Obviously we need more points to upgrade more stuff, but if we can just unlock the next area, which is what I'm looking for really, um, through bossing say, I should be able to get more stuff. I think those two brothers live somewhere around here. Is one of them a firebender? He's pretty scary looking. So I guess, yeah, we have some stairs we can go up, just like this. Not seeing any brothers so far, but it's gotta be something somewhere, right? Oh, here we go, who's us? Bolin. Oh, hello there, I am Bolin. My brother and I have been practicing our bending all day. I decided to take a break, but he is still out there pushing himself. I wish he had a real bending master. Bending master? Yeah, bending masters can teach you a lot, like Master Tenzin, who has been training the next generation of airbenders at the Northern Air Temple. He might be worth speaking to if that sounds interesting to you. So that's cool, that's what we want is that right there. So if I can find your brother, Maybe we can battle them too, but we unlocked the next area. That's definitely what I was looking for. I don't think there's anything else around here, actually. It just brings me back down here. So I don't think there's anything more to do. I'll poke around behind here real quick to make sure there's no other you know, tokens or anything, but I guess not. So we will use the bison whistle and go over to the Northern Air Temple. So yep, let's talk to Sky Bison. Northern Air Temple, here we come. So there should be a lot to do here, I hope. Whoa, okay. Oh, look at you, you're so cute. I love it. Okay, so what about you? Air Acolyte, greetings, Avatar. Thank you for traveling all this way. Welcome to the Northern Air Temple. We could get a good visual of this one. So this is the last area we have to explore, and look at it way up here, in the clouds and everything. Quite the view. The tower, of course, goes above the clouds. So I'm sure there'll be a lot to do here too. We'll definitely wanna clear this out so that we can at least get enough points or as much as we need. Hmm, gotcha. But once we do all that, I think we'll be good to take on the last few statues. 
I'm not seeing too much more we can do here. So I should do that at the least. And then talk to these people. This is Kaya. Good day, Avatar. Our brother, Tenzin, is out in the courtyard running a training exercise. Just another traveler came here looking for Tenzin, huh? Why'd nobody come here looking for Boomy? I'm sure the Avatar would equally appreciate any wordy wisdom you have to offer, Boomy. Oh, well, um, so I guess this is when they were younger. Aha, I thought of something. Don't let all those great expectations get to you, Avatar. Instead of obsessing over your destiny, sometimes you just gotta trust your gut. I'll puff for once. I agree. Cool. So I guess, yeah, that'll just restart that. I didn't know if I could talk to the other one instead, but here we go. Gonna set that and then head back over here. Not too much going on in this room, but down this way. Also not too much happening. Oh, actually, no, I thought that was a closed door. Instead, we can go all the way down this big spiral. I might just jump down to save us some time. There we go. Don't know who that is, but they're just sort of watching over whoever's training. This is such a cool area. Definitely fun to explore. There might be some extra stuff up there, but no way to get to it from here. More of the acolytes are around. What about you? Those two have been battling all day. Aren't they tired yet? I'd imagine, but... Keep it up, keep at it, Bolin. Oh, Avatar, I see you've made it to the Northern Air Temple. Mako and I just finished a duel, but I'm ready for another. Okay, so I guess we'll be able to battle Bolin here. Mover stars, there are only two stars compared to the, the five star we just fought, so let's go for it. I don't know what kind of bender they'll be. I guess an earth bender. We got the earthquake coming in. It, it didn't really hit them at all. Uh oh, gotcha. Ooh, I'm knocking them out. Unfortunately, they don't play by the same rules, so it doesn't really matter much. Oh no, oh no, no, come on! You're kidding me, that's rough. So, wait, no, no, it counted. Never mind. I'm still in it. I thought that would, that's so weird, huh? Maybe it has to be a certain amount of time or something. I mean, they can still seemingly spend all the time they need out there, but it usually cancels it for me. Okay, come on, we have you halfway down already, so I might just punch you around a little bit. They're running away from me. <laughs> Guess they're scared of what we can do. Let's try the water whip. That did not hit you at all. Don't knock me out, don't knock me out. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Let's pull up a tornado. Ah, tornado, tornado. Jeez, they are so good at doing that. I might not wanna risk it too much. This was a lot more difficult than two stars or just two level two difficulty or whatever. Come on, just a bit more. Punch you a couple times, sure, why not? And then this should be it. There we go, we finally got you. That was a tough fight. Impressive as expected, Avatar. I will keep training. So that'll be another reward for us. Oh, we got the Cabbage's guy again. Earthbending disc. I heard that air nomads were all vegetarian, so I figured they would just love my cabbages. Nobody told me they were going to be flying lemurs swooping in and nabbing cabbages left and right, left, right, and center. I lost money by coming here. Well, at least nobody smashed my car yet, I suppose. Until now. <laughs> my cabbages! This can't be happening again. Is it real? even really happening? Are you real? Am I real? Oh, look at you. This is a uh, air acolyte again. When I meditate near this glowing purple thing, I feel a spiritual co connection with the avatar. It's almost like I can sense the avatar standing right in front of me. Well, you'd be surprised. Anyways, we still need two more points to get the earth wall. So that's what I'm saving up for. In the meantime though, I have you to talk to. I look after the flying bison. They can be quite the handful. Sounds like quite the job, but also very fun. They, they seem so adorable. As I'm sure you can tell by my eyebrows, I'm very wise. In fact, I love Avatar trivia. In the final moment of their battle, when Bending Art did Avatar Aang use to defeat Fire Lord Ozai once and for all. Wasn't it all of them together? Let's try energy bending. That's correct, apparently Avatar Aang was able to use energy bending to take Ozai's bending away. Recently, it really makes you think, huh? I guess so. And what about down here? They were around here somewhere, the Red Lotus. Stay vigilant, we will find them. Oh, Avatar, Tenzin informed me of your arrival. It's not safe for you around here. You should leave, unless you can prove that you can defend for, your, you can fend for yourself. Sure, so we're going against law enforcement Lin and Su Yin. Okay, so two versus one, but if we can get that, look at the tiny little, oh, that's so cute. 
would be so distracted by how adorable you are, but I can hit both of them at once with the fire here, and that's always super duper useful whenever we can do that. Um, in the meantime though, since they're not stacked up, hit you with some rocks, and then we'll get up close to both of them and try to earthquake. Didn't really work out very well because they knocked me back, but now they're, they're close together again. Let's do octopus form. Like that, very cool, very cool. Tossing that at you, and then hit you with some more fire, right? I don't know if that's gonna work super well, but we're handling them. And then you over here, whoa, they're throwing stuff all over. Ready, earthquake, I got ground. I don't know why it's saying it requires ground. There we go. I might just toss some of that over, but they are giving me a hard time right now. But they're close together again, you know what that means. Hit them both with the fire, if I can manage. They are still pretty high on health right now. They're trying to knock me out, but luckily this part's sort of just a corner. So there's nowhere to knock me to. At least out of bounds. Oh man. We are almost there, but my health is super low. They've been packing quite the punch. I tried to dodge that one, it didn't work. I just need to get rid of one of them, I think. But they're running away from me. Come on, I almost got you. There we go, so just me and Lynn. He's hiding back this way, and my health is going up slowly but surely. Oh, I dodged it, I dodged it. And then you're done for, you're finished. Keep hitting him with this, maybe switch over to something else. Gotcha, one more, one more. Should do the trick, maybe. There we go, we defeated both of them, most close so for sure. I see you can fend for yourself, Avatar. Yes we can, and that gives us plus one point. We'll get the police badge, very nice. So that looks like everything from this way. I don't see anybody else to interact with. There might be more over here though. Whoa. I'm not seeing too much. Maybe up this way, but I don't wanna get too distracted. So I think I'll head back now and then we'll go to another direction. So back over here, you know, we went down that one. There's still more over this way. This might be the sort of the main path to go. Seems like there's at least, you know, some people to talk to, like you over here. This is Opal. Wow, you're the avatar, aren't you? I'm Opal. I'm pretty new to air bending, but I'm trying my best. I guess we're just gonna duel you immediately. Air Nomad Opal. He's only a level one person, so I, I think we should be able to handle this, right? Maybe we'll show them some real deal air bending here. We'll do a tornado move. Oh, they got it too. You know, for being new, they got some pretty advanced moves. We're doing what we can about it. I'll get up here and just punch you a couple times. And then as soon as my energy get back, back, my energy gets back up. Where'd you go? Hit you with some flames. And that does a ton of damage to you. Wow, okay. Almost there, almost there. Just gonna keep doing that a little bit more and we got you. So Opal defeated pretty quickly. Wow, excellent bending. I have a lot to learn. I guess you do. But I opened up the door back there, cool. So that'll be another little tile for us. And with four points, we should be able to get our final earth bending thing, earth wall. Raise up a stone barrier that can block incoming attacks. Earth walls can be thrown at opponents to cause massive damage. That sounds great. So we'll definitely have to try that out a little bit, but with our one earth tile, we can go take on Avatar Kiyoshi. So that can block things, but yeah, I can come up sort of faster or slower. How do I push it like that? That is so cool. I really can't wait to use that a little bit more in fights. But I guess we can just go up here for now while we're really moving and talk to you. Tenzin, greeting stranger. My name is Tenzin, leader of the Air Nation. Did you travel all this way for help mastering bending? Well, the latest batch of recruits are just finishing up a training exercise. How about you head out there and show me what you've got? Sure. So I guess we just go out this way and we're just fighting people right away, oh my goodness. So let's try out our earth wall and then just push it at you. Did that defeat you or do any kind of damage to you at all? Oh, there we go, that was huge, that was cool. So let's try that again, push it over like that and then that knocks you out, that is so cool, but super powerful for sure. So just whenever they show up. Might have just found our new favorite move. Wait, hold on, push that at you and then if you're gonna get that close, I might as well try a little bit of that, or dismiss you entirely. Yep, there we go. And then we'll push this one at you. It seems to one hit most of them, so that's pretty cool. Push that at you, and we got another one taken down, but 
That's my wall, so I can damage him. For a second, I was a little confused. I was like, wait, why are they earthbending? Nope, that was me. Okay. Oh, I hit the wall with the wall, I think. Oh, I missed you. No, not good. Come on. There we go. Then you over here. Come on, come on. No, that's not what I needed. It has to, of course, it's Minecraft, so it has to work like directly. You can't really hit things at an angle. There we go. I got them all. That was great. Oh, and I guess it opens up more of the temple or something? Not quite sure, but it was cool. So I guess we'll talk to you. That was very good. I see you've learned a lot on your journey so far. Would you like to duel against me? Sure. Airbending Master, Tenzin, and the kids. Whoa. So three against one, can we really handle this? I sure hope so. Gonna throw it at Tenzin straight away. Just try to deal with you as much as we can, but we might be able to hit both at once. You never know if we, we set it up at like just the right spot. I just really like this move, so I'm just gonna keep doing it as much as I can. <laughs> just like that, over and over. It keeps them far away too. It pushes them back just into the wall. There we go. It's not doing as much damage anymore though, so I do have to be careful. And then maybe just, boom, that was pretty good. If they're gonna be all over us like this, we do have to be careful, but using the octopus form is another good way to deal with it. And the air sphere, push them away even farther. But since we have some distance, earth wall time. That didn't do much damage to them though because they got their own air sphere. There we go, they're about halfway down with most of them. Can I push this one a little bit? Yes, I can. So it de depends on the type of block. That's so cool. Oh my goodness, come on. I got you good with that one. Keep at it though, Jinora is almost defeated, wherever they are. Oh, I think they're stuck. Whoa, okay, that's very fortunate for us. They got stuck in the wall like that. Come on, I keep trying to hit you. That was good. Yeah, it's just us and Tenzin now. We can handle that. And this doesn't even use up too much, it only uses up three points. So I can just try to survive a little bit more. I'm just gonna keep using it over and over again. <laughs> if it works, it works. So, knock that one at you, and then this one. Maybe I could just push you off. Where'd you go? Oh, you're over here. Oh, we got you, awesome. Excellent, just excellent. But don't get complacent. True strength comes from reliability. Awesome, well, I'm glad to get that. That's our second point, but the problem is we need a bunch more points to be able to uh, get our fire building bending maxed out, and I don't really know where I could find that. Avatar, hi, did you know that the flying bison were the original airbenders? Every day, I thank the bisons for their gift, and I feed them plenty of moon peaches so that they know I'm grateful. I'm glad. Oh, hi, Avatar. It's really cool to get to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So we came in from up there, right? So is there anything more going on down this way? It looks like there's at least more people to talk to you. I think somebody is down there. You're the Avatar, right? I've heard rumors that some dangerous people are lurking somewhere nearby. Ooh, okay, down this way? I mean, we've already fought the people down there, I'm pretty sure, but I guess I'll take a quick look just to be sure. Maybe I'm getting it mixed up. No, I haven't been down here, but I don't, oh no, here they are. So this is Gazan, Avatar, we will defeat you. We'll see about that one. The Red Lotus, Gazan, and Minghua. Well, they seem pretty intense. I like their outfits, so let's go for it. So I'll just push the, the wall into maybe none of them. There we go, much better. Gotcha. And then if they're gonna be so close to me, I should walk up and earthquake. And then octopus form. Just do away with them however we can. Maybe use a little bit of frost breath. But it seems like the best thing for right now is definitely still the wall. And then push that into you. Oh, you're trying to do the same moves against me. Uh-oh. And I think they're still over here, so I'll just push them again. <laughs> that was great, actually. Oh, no you don't, they pushed it at me. Don't you dare. It's two against one, so it could be pretty tough. I think what we need to do here is maybe do a bit of this. Gotcha, and then as I'm getting closer to you, I might be able to just get you this way. At least a little bit. Problem is, they really pack a punch, so we are running out of health here, slowly but surely. Gotcha, good there. Oh no, okay, now we're in our super avatar mode, whatever it's called which is great, but if we run out of health now, we'll be in huge trouble, so that's not what I want. Um, got it, just a little bit more, a little bit more. 
That was good. We got rid of you, now it's just Minghua that we have to deal with here. So, Octopus Form, oh, we thought the same thing. Mine might have done more damage out, so that's good. And then I'm just gonna try to get cram you against the wall like that. Well, I have the opportunity. Very good. And then this. Now we're out of energy, so I might wanna run around just a little bit more. Ooh. Come on, just keep getting ya. We're almost there. Just a little bit more. That should be it. There we go. We defeated both of them. Do not panic, Kazan. We will defeat the Avatar. It's only a matter of time. Well, we do get some rewards for that. Another point. And there's two more people to fight over here. Zaheer. Hello, Avatar. I am Zaheer, the man who is going to destroy you. I have nothing against you, but I am against all who are automatically given power. Monarchs, dictators, avatars, nobody wanted them to have the power that they hold, and therefore it is immoral. I will strip that power from you and put an end to the avatar cycle. Pali, quickly now, before they escape. Okay, so we have two more people are fighting here. This person wants to remove anybody with given power. Interesting motive. So we'll do what we can against these two, probably more of the same. There we go, got you pretty good there. Let's bring up another stone wall. I'm just gonna keep doing this if I can. If I can get away with it. Getting rid of one at a time might just be the best bet we have. Okay, come on, go, go, go. What's interesting about the concept though is that of course they're, they're bending, which means they have the bending ability, so they were born with that, right? Not everybody was, so wouldn't that also be something they should be against? Oh boy, come on, run and run. I'm gonna hit you with the wall as much as I can. That didn't do anything because they're, no! Oh, okay, I thought I was gonna get knocked off there for sure. Let's go on this side. Push it over, and I got one of them. That was pretty good. I'm mostly focusing on Zaheer for now. They're throwing a lot at us. Ooh. Okay, got you pretty good there. Just a little bit more, and we have you knocked out. So I might just wanna run around, get some health back. Get some health back, and get some of the energy back, and defeat Zaheer a little bit more. Ooh, got you good there. So, I will get the Earth Pool, toss it at you. And then, ooh, that did not really work the way I thought it would. There we go, so it's just me and Pali now. I'll just punch them while I'm waiting for my energy to get back then. Sometimes this is the best move, is just get them stuck and start punching. There we go, much better. Because where are they gonna go? They're just sort of stuck now. So this might be just an easy way to deal with this one. Get rid of them, very cool. No. So we get an extra point for that, and I think another reward. The Guru Lagima idol. So what do we do now? That we've defeated all them. I guess we have to find a way back up. Pretty intense battles though. I don't know how much time we have to do more, and it seems like we found most things, but there's still more to discover, I'm sure. Like, have we been up here? Yeah, this is where the cabbages was. So, let's see. We have at least enough for now to get another fire thing, the fire sweep. Emit a stream of fire that extends outwards from your feet while performing low sweeping dance like kicks. Sure, we still have two more points. If we could find two more fights, maybe that'll be enough. I just don't know if there's enough of that around. Oh, and it looks like we have Ang over here. No, this is Milo. Never mind. I am practicing the ancient lemur training technique. Then, when the bad guys show up, I'll have an army of lemurs at my back. That sounds great. So, good luck with you with that. I don't think there's too much more left to do. It seems like we've explored all this area. I feel like I've done a decent job of being like thorough with things, but we couldn't quite find it all. That's fine. You know, we don't always need to complete everything 100%. I'll take on the last statue that we have, and we'll call it a day with that. But this has been such a cool map for sure. So since we have all the earth bending of, the, of abilities now, I should be able to take on you, I think, right? Challenge Kyoshi, you're a brave one, but I shall reward you for your boldness, let us duel. So let's try, this will be our last duel of the day against Avatar Kyoshi. I'm a bit worried about it, but I'll give it my best effort. Okay, so yeah, they're, they're an avatar, but they're originally the earth bending one, so. Oh gosh, they're making walls in front of me all over the place, but maybe you could just push their walls and then start burning them up, and this is gonna be a much tougher battle than the other ones that we just went against, so. Might be a bit of a challenge, but we can do it, for sure. 
like at Earth Pool, launch that at you. That was pretty good. Whoa, heading right for me. Come on, might just do some more fire here and then run around a bit more. I'll keep punching you while we're waiting, actually. Doesn't do a ton of damage to somebody with as much health as you have, but it's just something while I'm waiting. Because this does a lot. That honestly seems to be the best strategy. Just punch them until I can just, oh, here we go. How did that not get you? That definitely did. I don't know how much damage it does though. It just doesn't seem as time efficient as Firestream. We should have just been a firebender, I suppose. Okay, doing a little bit more though. You're about halfway down. It's gonna keep punching you, because we have plenty of health actually. Ooh, trying to knock me out of the way with that though. And you know what, since we have the time, let's do tornado. That way that can maybe damage you up while we're doing some other stuff. Here it comes, you better be ready. There you are, there you are. Keep fighting. You're more than halfway down now. So I think we got you on the ropes here. We should be able to defeat you. Come on, come on. Let's go into third person just for the fun of it. It's always cool to see how it looks a little bit different like this. So I could just go with another one of those. Even throw the, the rock at you. That hits you pretty good. And can I push their wall? I don't think I can. So we're just going to find out where they went. Hit them with the rest of the fire. Come on, this might be enough to defeat them. Ah, uh, not quite, not quite. It's gonna punch you away. Just a little bit more. That's working. Come on, fire, fire, fire. Almost there. Will we get you? There it is, so we defeated Kyoshi. Congratulations, Avatar. I see you are a true master of earthbending. We should get another reward for that. So obviously we didn't get every single reward, but we've made our way through a lot of it. I think that's really it for the, the thing you're just supposed to defeat them and then it's over, but I don't know. We had a great time with it for sure. You can see like all these different rewards we got. Some of them are still missing, like the cabbage merchant. Oh, I think the one in the fire area maybe I didn't get. So maybe I should do that really quickly, but beyond that, I'm not really seeing any others except for Avatar Roku. I don't see anything else. So, you know, yeah, we'll, we'll go knock over that last Cabbage Merchant's thing, because we didn't find that, apparently. So we entirely missed, right over here, this. So I guess I'll do it. You know what, it really just hits a spot on a hot summer's day? A nice, moist, almost sand-free cabbage. I don't like what I've become either, kid. Oh no. So I guess we'll destroy this one. I'm pretty sure this is the last one. My cabbages! Why, what do you want, money, attention, cabbages? Just take this cabbage and never talk to me again, please. Okay, I guess we got a gift and it's gonna be a cabbage. So that's cool. I don't think I could find anything else, but I'll, I'll look around a little bit more. So I've been looking around a little bit more bossing say, and I was able to find right over here another fight. So we haven't done this one. This is Kai. Psst, hey, the Dai Li have left, right? I think so. Phew, hi, I'm Kai. I used to be just a normal kid, but now I have airbending powers. Wanna check them out? Sure, I'd love to. So Air Nobad Kai. This person seems you know, not super powerful, so hopefully we can handle it pretty quick. And then we need to find one other person, maybe still here in Ba Sing Se. I'll look all over for sure, but for right now it's all about fighting you. And we do a ton of damage to you, so I'm hoping I can just stand here and damage you down. If I need to though, I can always do a bit of that. And then while we're waiting, I have not tried this move out, so I'm just gonna move some things around there and try Fire Sweep. Whoa, that's pretty cool. And that does a lot of damage too. So we can keep fighting you, keep punching you, and then that should be it right there. So we defeated Kai pretty quickly. Wow, and I thought my powers were cool. Where do you learn moves like that? Well, thank you very much. That is going to be, of course, an extra point and stolen bag of money. Huh, there's extra people around here now, I think. Is there anything else to do around here? I sure hope so, because I still think we're looking for more. I don't know if we've been this way but we can talk to you. Hello, I'm the world's foremost avatar expert. I hope to meet the avatar one day. I feel like we did. Yeah, we did, we did. Okay, so we've gone full circle here. I'll keep looking around. There's gotta be one last fight somewhere. So I was able to find something else. Right over this way, this is where we fought, or, or we met um, a couple of people, and then the, the garden's out that way. But over here, I think we found something new. There's also this here. We use frost, frost Breath to break this open and get another one. Very, very cool. So this should be our last fight if there's a fight over here. Hello. Uh, yes, there is. So who are you? 
Amon. Are you tired of living under the tyranny of Benders? Then join the Equalists. For too long, bending has been the cause of war and suffering. Join me, and together we will tear down the bending establishment. Uh, try to sneak away, maybe. You there, in the back. I wouldn't leave yet, Avatar. You'll miss the main event. People of Ba Sing say, please watch what unfolds next carefully. The Avatar needs to be reminded of the power I possess. So are they also a bender? With what they would say, you would think they wouldn't be. The revolutionary Amon will see for ourselves. But with this, we'll be able to actually get our final upgrade. So this is so exciting. Um, Let's start with a fire sweep, something like that. I didn't see what level they were. I think it was four. That is not doing any damage to you. Uh, I might have missed, so we'll try something else instead like this. Can I please get to do something to you? You seem pretty tough so far. There we go, there we go. We're gonna hit you with the earth wall and then just push it over. There we go, that's working out quite well. Just keep doing that, keep you away from me. There we go, much better. I might do a bit of the tornado move. It seems like they have a lot of water bending. Okay, so. Yeah, they're using the frost breath on me now. Halfway there, halfway there. But they are not happy with me, so I'm gonna move around a little bit, pushing me back. And then now I have full energy. They're stuck in the wall, then I'm gonna just gonna go for them. What can they really do, you know? <laughs> there we go. Keep punching, keep punching. And then while they're stuck back here, oh, come on, come on. There we go, much better. And then back to the earth wall, because where are they gonna go? They're stuck here. That one didn't hurt. Okay, so I think it was because they had the octopus thing, but that is doing a number. Just a little bit more of that, and then maybe just fire the rest of them down. I'm gonna have to punch through this thing now. And then as soon as we can, we got them. Okay, so Amon is defeated. Impossible. We get a reward for that one. Very cool. So yeah, happy to get that done. Now we can head out of here for real. So let's get the bison whistle, and then just go like this. Got it. So we're gonna head back to um, the Air Temple Island so that we can actually take on the rest of it. I, you know, I, I was gonna give up, but you know what? We might as well. So right over here, I will get fire. We have the Meteor Dash. Propel forward with amazing speed and blow opponents away with extreme force, causing an explosion on landing. Charge Meteor Dash to launch yourself further. Cool. So we'll definitely wanna try that maybe right here. So now we can go against Avatar Roku. Whoa, that is so cool. I sort of wanna see that from third person. That's awesome. So let's take on the final Avatar here, Avatar Roku. All of the past Avatars, of course. Um, I see you've grown a lot on your journey so far. Very well, let us do battle, the final one. And then we're finally clear with everything. We did a great job getting here. Let's see what you got. So, I think we'll start with an earth wall, just to you know do some good damage to them to start things off, and it seems to be working quite well. We'll do one more. Ready, or, or not. There it goes. And then I think we'll get that there. I don't know if that's actually the best thing, um, but we'll try it. Ow, that hurts. <laughs> They're definitely doing a number to us, but we can just hit them with some normal fire, and then I wanna try the, the meteor dash. Ooh, that didn't do too much damage, though. We're better off with some other moves, I think. I would like to get over there and do Frost Breath. And that's slowly sort of chipping away things, but once again, Fire Stream just always seems to be better. That was some good stuff. I think I might want to back up, run around. That'll give them the chance to maybe get a little bit closer to us, too. Okay, there they go, there they go. So now I get, like, here and start pushing more walls at you. And then we can do another right there. That didn't work. Uh, I'll push it over like that. There we go, much better. Dodging all your stuff. Come on, Roku, you gotta go down. I might just punch you a couple of times. I wish I could actually push you out of bounds and win that way, but nope, not the case. They might try to do that to me though. So yeah, let's move over here now where they're gonna actually meet me there. We're more than halfway down now though. This is pretty intense. Ooh. This is looking good though. We're almost there. Keep punching you, keep punching you. It's not a lot of damage, but it's something. And then we'll, we'll separate ourselves a bit and start throwing walls at you. It's just the best move ever. Oh no. Where'd you go? Right here. 
And then I might be able to push the wall again. I don't know if I will. Maybe with this move enabled. There we go. I like it when you get extra use out of it like that. And almost got gotcha. you. We are so close. Come on. Uh-oh. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Ouch. Come on, just a little bit more. We got it, we got it, we got it. There we go. So that is another one defeated. Congratulations, Avatar. I see you are a true master of firebending. We get a reward for that one. It should be, I think, our final reward. You have unlocked firebending trophy. Visit Air Temple to view the collection. So now that we defeated every person, I don't know if we get anything for that, but so cool. Hmm. We'll go back over and just sort of see if there's anybody new to talk to or anything like that, but I think we've done it. I think we've completed Avatar Legends here in Minecraft. What about you? I guess not. But it looks like mostly everything. We might be missing like one thing, Varric. I haven't seen that person. But uh, most things, most things. I'll take it. I think we did a great job and we had a lot of fun. So that was Minecraft Avatar Legends. We became an airbender and took on all of the legendary characters that are in this wonderful series. I would definitely love to hear if you've been able to get this one yourself. And if so, what are your thoughts on it? But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Zebra's Minecraft Fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.